Welcome to the Upbeat Gardener, organic adventures from Kodiak, Alaska. I'm Marian Owen. For some, it may have been one E. coli scare too many, a concern about getting sick after eating apples or lettuce grown in contaminated fields half a continent away. Perhaps it was the desire to see if homegrown foods really tasted all that much better than store-bought. Either way, and no doubt for other reasons, the number of organic gardeners is predicted to increase about 10% a year, says Bruce Butterfield, research director for the National Gardening Association. That's twice the growth of conventional gardeners. Organic gardening is defined as growing without the use of synthetic pesticides or fertilizers. It's using natural ingredients to feed the soil rather than the plant. So hey, are you an organic gardener wannabe? If so, then you need to think of organic growing as more a marathon than a sprint. It takes an average of two years before any dramatic changes occur after abandoning chemicals. And during those two years, your plants will seem to grow much slower. But eventually, your organic garden will surpass the production of those traditional gardens down the street, hands down. Whether you choose to switch most or all of your yard to organic, it's important to know the conversion process is compared to giving up smoking. The garden will need time to recover. If this is the year you decide to convert, then start with improving the soil. Begin by adding organic matter, like compost, shredded leaves, and cow manure, and the more the merrier, to keep your soils from becoming tired. And don't expect perfection if you're planning to return to the natural rather than the synthetic way of doing things. In other words, develop a tolerance level. Be more tolerant of having a manageable number of pests and weeds in your garden. The presence of a bug, after all, is not the end of the world. Okay, so here's the bottom line. When you get down to it, organic gardening is practical gardening. Not only will it reduce your exposure to potentially toxic substances, but once your garden has made the transition to organic care, you'll find it's easier on the budget too. And if this is the year you decide to convert to organic, let me know how it goes. My email address is mygarden at alaska.net. Until next time, I'm Marian Owen.